Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss a topic economic evaluation of highway projects. And this evaluation describes several quantifiable benefits of highway improvement or of construction of a new highway. Before we discuss this topic further, I would like to remind you that in our earlier sessions we have discussed two topics time value of money and costs and benefits of highway projects and these are important to understand today's topic also and therefore i would advise you to watch these two videos to understand today's session the economic evaluation is carried out to determine the most optimal solution among a number of alternatives and therefore it is important to visualize all available alternatives including do nothing alternative and evaluate each of them against the do nothing alternative this analysis will allow ranking of all available alternatives take the example of a two lane road suppose a two lane road needs pavement strengthening but traffic forecast also indicate that this road may need upgradation to four lane divided carriageway in the next 3 to 4 years So there are four possible alternatives. The first is do nothing. Second is just strengthen the existing road. Alternative three is that strengthen the road now and widen later when it is due. And alternate four is strengthen and widen the road now itself. And these alternatives are in the order of their increasing present cost. and therefore three types of analysis should be carried out analysis one will be that you compare two with one second analysis will be compare alternative 3 with alternative 2 and third analysis will be to compare alternative 4 with alternative 3 it will establish whether incremental investment will yield the desired benefits or not there are three popular methods of economic evaluation of highway project one is net present value method second benefit cost ratio method and third is internal rate of return method or irr method we will discuss these three methods in this session the first is net present value method in this method all costs and benefits associated with the project over an extended period of time are calculated and are discounted at a selected discount rate to give the present value benefits are treated as positive and cost as negative and the summation give the net present value and any project is considered to be viable if this npv is positive now here in this equation npv is calculated as benefit minus cost now this is a zero year and the first year second year and nth year for each year you calculate what the benefit and what the cost associated with this year and i is the discount rate per annum in decimals and the number of years which will be considered for the analysis now let us take one example to illustrate this npv method and the example is like this that the cost of improving an existing road with 25 km long is rupees 4 lakh per km the data on road gear cost accident cost and maintenance cost with and without improvement are given in table 1 for a 10 year period after the completion of the improvement assuming a discount rate of 10% find out whether the project is economically justifiable or not use npv method and what is table 1 table 1 gives you the road gear cost with improvement and without improvement accident cost with improvement and without improvement and similarly maintenance cost with improvement and without improvement so in the first year there is no benefit or cost only you will be spending 25 into 4 that is 100 lakh of rupees to improve the road now benefit here in this table if you look at the benefit benefit minus cost now benefit is 3 5 and 
if you do not do any improvement then 126 minus 105 is the benefit minus cost similarly 3.1 minus 1.1 is the benefit minus cost and similarly to column number 7 minus 6 is the benefit minus cost for maintenance so this value if you add a column here this value 22 is basically 126.5 minus 105.5 plus 3.1 minus 1.1 plus 2.5 minus 3.5 that is 22 lakhs. Similarly, you calculate for each row for each year. Right? Let me add one more column here. Now, this is what we call the NPV B minus C for Tth year upon 1 plus i into power t. Now here i is given 10% and therefore this is 0 0.1. So this value will be calculated like this. Let me take these two columns separately now and this 20 is 22 upon 1 plus 0.1 power 1 because this is the first year. So it is 20, 20, sorry, this is 20. Similarly, for the second row, this is 23.1 upon 1 plus 0.1 power 2 because the second year 19.1. Similarly, you calculate for each year. What is the NPV value? Take total sum of all these values. Total sum here is total benefits because it is all positive. So 165.4 lakhs. Total spending here, total cost here initially that is 100 crores and therefore the total NPV of this project will be benefit minus cost that is 165.4 minus 100 that is 65.4 crore and because this value is positive and therefore the project is viable. That is how we apply NPV method for economic evaluation of a highway project. Second method is benefit cost ratio method and this method is similar to NPV method here also all costs and all benefits are discounted to their present values by using this equation benefit cost ratio is present value of benefits expected from the project divided by present value of the cost of the project the objective of a benefit cost analysis is to translate the effects of an investment into monetary terms and to account for the fact that benefits generally accrue over a long period of time while capital costs are incurred primarily in the initial years. And therefore, in the benefit cost ratio, we determine the present value of each investment. The present value of any investment, either annual cost or annual benefit, is given by this equation. Present value is a b y i upon 1 plus r y i minus y naught. Now here e b is the present value, a b or it can be a c also that is the annual benefit or annual cost. r is discount rate, generally interest rate and y i is the year in which the benefit or cost occurs and y 0 is the year of analysis that is the year to which the future money is discounted. Although I have explained this concept of time value of money in my earlier session, but let me just take one example to illustrate how this present value is estimated. Suppose you have a highway section and cost of this new construction is estimated to be rupees 5 billion. Construction will occur in 2028. The year of analysis is 2024. If the discount rate is taken as 6% for the year 2024, what is the present value of the construction cost? That is $5 billion. So here we need to find out PV. The annual cost is $5 billion. Rate of interest or discount is 0.06. N is 2028 minus 2024, that is 4 years. So put these values in this equation. That gives you PV is equal to now annual cost divided by 1 plus r power the yi minus y0. So AC is 5 billion and 
r is 0.06 and this difference in the period is 4 years so this is 3.96 billion now to explain this benefit cost ratio method let me take the same example which we took earlier in case of npv that the cost of improving an existing road 25 km road long is rupees 4 lakh per kilometer the data on road year cost accident cost maintenance cost are given the table for a period of 10 years and assuming a discount rate of 10% find whether the project is economically justifiable use bc method now rather than npv and this table one is same as i showed you earlier that you have user cost accident cost maintenance cost without improvement and with improvement so if you remember i added here two columns one to calculate b minus c and another one is npv so let me start from there that this is the bt minus ct and this is bt minus ct upon 1 plus i that is your 10 percent power t so let, just to explain it again this 20 is 22 upon 1 plus 0.1 power 1 that is 20 this 19.1 is 23.1 upon 1 plus 1 1 plus 0.1 power 2 that is 19.1 similarly you calculate for each row and total benefits is 165.4 against total cost of 100 crores and therefore bc ratio is now 165.4 upon 100 that is 1.654 if it is more than one that indicates that the project is justifiable that is benefit cost ratio method the third method is internal rate of return method. This internal rate of return is a metric used in financial analysis to estimate the profitability of potential investment. It is a discount rate that makes the net present value of all cash flows equal to zero in a discounted cash flow analysis. IRR calculations rely on the same formula as NPV and this is the equation for NPV that NPV in zero year is B0 minus C0 plus B1 minus C1 upon I plus 1 power 1 and so on. And these variables I explained to you earlier, these are benefit, they are cost, zero year, one year, two year and a three year. Now here, I is to be estimated, I or R, so that this NPV becomes zero and benefit becomes in the initial year, benefits will be zero only the cost and therefore this equation can be rewritten as c0 is equal to b1 minus c1 upon i plus 1 power 1 b2 minus c2 upon this and so on so that is the equation for calculation of irr we need to know i now when you discount it then it becomes 1 minus i so the problem is to find the value of interest rate that will satisfy this equation if the internal rate of return calculated from the above formula is greater than the rate of interest obtainable by investing the capital in open market, the scheme is considered acceptable. So we take one example. Let us say there is an initial investment on a project of 1000 crore. Cash flow for the first year is 200 crore. Cash flow for the second year 300, for third year 400 and net present value is to be kept zero. So this is the income and this is investment. So equation for this can be written like this that NPV which is equal to 0 is 200 upon 1 minus R that is your first year, second year, third year minus the initial investment of 1000 crore and you find out what is the value of R here. This is to be done by trial and error and sometimes it becomes very difficult also if you have more number of years. In this example, if you take, let's say, R is equal to 14%, then NPV from this equation would be plus 267, and therefore IRR is not 14%. If you take 12%, it will be plus 243, so IRR is not 12% also. If you take R is equal to 8, R is equal to 6, R is equal to 3, NPV will be minus 37 here. So for 6, it is plus 33, for 3, it is minus 37. So actual R value will be between 3 and 6. You can try with 5, you can try with 4, 4.5 and finally you get some value of R which is for which this NPV is very close to 0. Now calculators are also available which can give you value of R directly. 
So that is how we do economic evaluation of highway projects using three methods. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can write in the comment.